Among arthropods, breeding can sometimes be slow and sultry, other times fierce, frantic, and dangerous. The millipede seduction begins with a massage. With hundreds of legs, it's a full-bodied affair. These millipedes have six-inch long bodies, but their sex organs are right at the front end, just seven segments behind the head. All this caressing is to persuade the female to turn and face him. When she does, he passes a packet of sperm over to her. Millipede mating is a sedate, leisurely affair, often lasting several hours. For a male scarab beetle, it's a crowded scrum. This male on the right has found a female and clambers on her back. But he has a rival who uses his shovel-shaped head to try and pry him off her. But they're so busy fighting, the female's had enough and wanders off. A male scorpion has more to fear from a female than rejection. He grabs her and probes with his sting, confirming she's a female. But this potential mate could easily kill him, so he must grapple with her powerful claws to hold her at arm's length and keep his distance from her lethal stinger. Claws locked together, he leads her in a pirouette across the sand. This courtship dance signals his intentions and allows the male to search for a patch of solid ground on which to drop his packet of sperm. Here will do nicely. Hidden beneath his body, the sperm packet is smaller than a grain of rice. Having deposited it, he pulls the female around so she's directly over it. And she picks it up through a tiny opening at the base of her legs. Job done. A female mantis lacks the scorpion's stinger, but she too is a deadly predator. And she's just as happy to eat her partner. This male must approach her very carefully, so he doesn't become her next meal. Her abrupt warning display signals she's not in the right mood. If he doesn't back off, she'll kill him. Time to look elsewhere. This female might be a bit more amenable. As he inches closer, he releases a chemical signal to announce that he's a mate, not lunch. But the final approach is still a leap of faith. Lucky for him, she seems receptive. She holds still while he gets down to business. This female Honduran curly haired tarantula with a leg span of nearly six inches is just as deadly. She spins a mat of silk, trip wires that detect any prey that ventures close to her lair. And she could easily kill this smaller male. 
But it's a risk he must take if he wants to sire the next generation. After nightfall, male tarantulas wander long distances in search of these femme fatale. Receptors in his legs tell him he's stumbled on the female's silken mat. And he quickly taps out a code on the silk to tell her he's come courting. But this is no romantic encounter. He must use his front legs to hold her half-inch deadly fangs at bay. While holding her aloft, he uses one of his palps to insert a sperm package into the female. Then he beats a hasty retreat, just in case she changes her mind. For many male arthropods, the mating game is a dangerous one. Yet the stakes couldn't be higher. <laughs> 